Okay, from the man who needs no introduction himself, I'm the legendary Josh Wolf, best seen on the internet. That was uh, the band that played at NDC Oslo. Um, they were freaking awesome. And uh, a couple of days before that, Elm, Oslo Elm Day, they had a progressive rock band that played progressive metal, which I missed. This is Magic Craft in Europe, 140 characters or less at a time. The real measure of success is the number of experiments that can be crowded into 24 hours. It's Thomas Edison. Here we are. Um, the night before we flew out to Europe, there's uh, my wife Param, there's me, this is Glenn Richards from the Shark Tank AU, there's Prahlad, there's Tim, we won the pitching competition, we're going to have a mentoring session with Glenn Richards and Steve Baxter uh, in a couple of weeks. We left Tim behind here, that's him speaking about GraphQL here at BrizJS, and the three of us, me, Param and Prahlad, flew to Europe for three weeks. See how much of it we can get through. There we are in Dubai. On the way there on the plane, I played with Raito, literally the best library of all time for async programming in JS. Didn't get covered tonight, you'll have to read all about it on the internet, medium.com forward slash cedar party, that's me. So, on to Norway, where I am world famous for my ad, the meaningless repetitive work on the .NET stack got translated into Norwegian back in 2015. Fans waiting for me at the airport, that's uh, Param and Prahlad there. Uh, the fans were behind me at this point, I was just turning around to take a shot of them. Um, so, hey, check this out. This is Google Translate. They bought WordLens. It's awesome, man. You literally just point your phone at something and you can read it. Wow, it's like we're living in the future. Am I right? Metal travel, five metal things to do in Bergen, Norway. It is the black metal capital of the world. Rains 275 days of the year, and when it's not raining, it snows. So we went out there to check it out. Here's a picture of Parham in front of the library there. We're waiting for it to open. This is my friend John. Oh, man, I forgot. Hang on. Let me just click on this button. This is so cool. This thing is called Soapbox. I don't know if you guys have seen this. You can record videos using your web browser. Amazing. I know, right? Let's see, is it going to work? Is it going to start? Let me try again. Click on this. And I just say start recording. Amazing. Share. Sure. Okay, we're going to start again from the beginning. I'm kidding. Um, okay, this is John, this is John Bernhardsen. Um, was working here in Brisbane for a year, but lives in Norway, C-sharp programmer, and apparently Elm is really big in Oslo. So, oh, yeah. Um, okay, so then we went to Magic, we went to NEC Oslo, uh, Norwegian Developer Conference. There's one in a month's time in Sydney. It is freaking awesome. There were 2,000 developers at this conference. It went for three, four days. I started off by going to the Elm workshop. Amazing, great. So they had Oslo Elm Day, uh, a couple of days before, they had 120 developers there learning about Elm programming, functional front-end programming. It's really big um, in Oslo. Several companies are already using it there, and a couple of consultants ran that day with some of the Elm code that I wrote. Looks like that. And then we went to set a new world record. Only those who attempt the absurd will achieve the impossible. That's MC Escher. Here's me in my wizard's robe uh, with my gold chain and my gold cape about to set a world record with the Norwegian kids. There we go. <laughs> um, so yeah, we set this new world record over there. There I am with some of the kids, there were 30 of them. It's the most uh, Minecraft zombies killed with JavaScript fireballs in a 10 minute period. Very competitive space, but we had what it takes. And uh, there's the official count there, 93,000. And while we were doing that, we showed the kids how to find Magic Craft spells on GitHub, and they found Tim Smith spells. This is Tim Smith here, AKA Absnack in, uh, in the Minecrafts. And um, you can see what happened as a result of that right here. That is a tower of anvils. I got poured down on uh, a bunch of zombies and kids. So you can read all about that on the internet as well. Here I am with uh, Simon Sommerfeld. He is a hero of the revolution. He's a CTO of a company over there, Java developer for about 20 years. And um, he started this coding kids club thing. There are 125 of them in Norway. It's taken him four years to reach that point. Um, the mentors from his group gave me this BBC Microbit computer, which was pretty cool. And um, this is the beginning of the NDC Oslo conference. Dylan Beatty opened it up with this great talk, and in there he mentioned type 1 diabetics, and that's an insulin pump there. Here I am with the guys from TrackJS. They have this thing that you put into your um, web application, JavaScript code, single script tag, let it run, it collects all of the errors that occur on the user's machines, ships them back to a log aggregator, and sends your data report in your email. Really cool. They had this stand where you could win a t-shirt like that. I, of course, won it. Number one on the leaderboard, obviously. Then this guy came along, uh, Jonathan, aka at Nibbler, and took out my, uh, my top score. So it became a battle between the two of us during the conference. There we are together, the two top JavaScript programmers at NBC Oslo. 
Uh, they had a competition to win this Raspberry Pi Zero by hacking into it. Of course, I won that. Here's a picture of it after I won it. Um, here's a picture of Prolar. This was sentiment recognition. You had to like mimic whatever type of category, and this is fair. So you had to have the most fearful expression that you could, and then um, Prolar was winning that one at 38%. Some other guy came along and got it at 99.95%. We should have taken a photo of that. Here I am with Baz from uh, GitHub. The guys from GitHub came over to meet me, of course, um, especially on the back of my the effect that GitHub is having on your career in software today. Here's me and Prolar talking about Magic Craft in front of a room full of Norwegian developers. There we are from the other side. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from Magic, asks the club. Uh, then we went to Dublin, Ireland. Here we are, lost in, in uh, somewhere in Dublin, Ireland. We found a place to go and get something to eat. I kind of thought wearing my big gold chain with the, uh, you can kind of see it here, the GitHub. Uh, logo on it was a great idea until we got lost in Dublin and um, I was wandering around, people were looking at me rather interestingly. So we went there for Coda Dojo's Coolest Project Awards, here's me and Prilad, we're our Coda Dojo mentors here in Brisbane, there's Pyram at the event. Here I am with Bill Liao and Ben, Ben's the founder of Coolest Project, Bill is the founder of Coda Dojo, he's originally from Melbourne and his daughter has type 1 diabetes, she's 18 years old, so he really appreciated both the fact that we were there, first Australians to ever make it, and also um, the type 1 diabetes uh, project that Pilar's about to tell you about. Uh, there were 18 different nationalities there, they wanted us to bring a flag, we were already in Oslo, left our Australian flag at home, so I rang the embassy, they gave us a flag, and the Australian ambassador came down. Here he is with Pilar. There's a thousand kids there from uh, 18 different countries, 50 ninjas from Romania came, they took out seven categories. In Romania, there's one city with 300,000 people, it has 17 Coda dojos, three of them within 300 meters. Crazy, I know, right? Um, this is uh, Andrew Richards, Richard Andrews, the uh, Australian ambassador. Couldn't stay for the whole day, so he invited Prelard to come on back to the Australian embassy to um, give uh, a presentation there, and he gave him also a, uh, a Lego, um, thing of, uh, of Australia as a, a, a present for his birthday, but it was actually Prolard's birthday, the day of Coda Dojo's course project. If you're here, um, last month Prolard gave like the very first edition of his talk, and he's here now to reprise that talk and to give you um, a, 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 a sneak peek of, of what they got at the Australian Embassy. Prolard, hit it. Kind of ruined off my talk. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, after you speak, I ruin the other half. <laughs> No, I wanted to, uh, I didn't want to, I didn't want to have to follow your act. So uh, this is me, uh, my name is Paul Wolf. you can see my face now, <laughs> yep, uh, there's my, uh, my Twitter, if anyone wants to tweet out. So I'm 14, well actually 15, kind of, it's a, it's a mess. I'm from Brisbane, Australia, I'm a Kuradojo ninja and mentor. I was the youngest speaker at NDC this year, and uh, yeah, I'm here for MCT1, uh, Minecraft type 1 diabetes. So what's the problem? Well, in 2010, I got type 1 diabetes, and a big part of having type 1 diabetes is being taught about your type 1 diabetes and teaching other people about it. But being taught your type 1 diabetes is usually you in a hospital talking to a doctor one-on-one, -on -one, and that's neither fun, engaging, or interest. And most importantly, you do it alone, because that sucks. <laughs> but managing your type 1 diabetes is a team sport, just like football, coding. So what's the solution? What could it be? MCT1, of course. So uh, what actually is MCT1? It is Minecraft that simulates type 1 diabetes to show the correlation between your blood glucose level, insulin, and carbohydrates. The main three things of type 1 diabetes, I would notice. This is what it's supposed to look like. So, 
How is it made? Well, it's a mod for Magicraft, the number one software, or the web software for modding Minecraft. It's easy. And it's made using JavaScript. So what's my mission? So I want to get this globally because everyone should have it. It's uh, really helpful. The hospitals are doing great things, but it's kind of boring. It really is. Hospitals, it just sucks the life out of you. I know they like give you life, but they suck life back. <laughs> it's an oxymoron, I think. So this won't affect me. It's useless for me because I've had type 1 diabetes for seven years. But for other kids and their families, it'll be massively impactful to their lives. I want to get this globally. Right. So globally, you say, how am I going to do that? Are you going to start national? So Diabetes Australia and the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation already want this to be given to kids as they leave the hospital. So if you have all of this Minecraft stuff, of course, you got to have servers. Google Cloud Platform, IBM Software, Microsoft Azure, and Amazon Web Services all are offering to do all of that, so all of that's checked off. All you need is the human factor. So, what have we been up to recently? Well, we were on the ABC News, uh, we were in the Courier Mail. Uh, Dr. Michael Dejuani is getting a grant for $15,000 so he can start community trials. Uh, and also, we went to Europe. We went to Norway, Ireland, Denmark, and Sweden. Uh, we took a train to Bergen. It was pretty lit because of the tunnel. Uh, Dad got to wear his wizard robes at an event. We got to speak uh, to a couple of fans, just a small por portion. Uh, I got to present at uh, Coded Energy School of Projects. You can see me in the corner, the small flag. Uh, I met the ambassador on the day, two days after my birthday. He gave me some Lego. I love Lego. Uh, we met the CEO of Nova Nordisk in Denmark. It's the company that makes all the insulin and stuff for my type 1 diabetes. There's another picture. And the peak of this whole travel was when Dad left his bag on a train from Denmark to Sweden. And then we started... What was in the bag? Oh, two passports, mine and his, and Dad's computer. <laughs> and, our, and, 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 and my phone, yeah. So we started the annual tradition of the European cross-country bag hunt. <laughs> now this was an adventure. We went on a train from Denmark to Sweden, got the bag after about six hours, then we had to take another three trains to get to the place we were going. We missed our flight, and I was tired, hungry, and I didn't feel like doing anything. <laughs> Questions? Um, okay. So are you interested in uh, ship that to Spain and Italy? Spain? What is that? <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, maybe. It's global, so... Probably. So then that would be yes. Oh, yes. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you that. How, uh, for those of you who were here before we went, how was that? <laughs> On the Code of Just Cause Projects Day, he presented nine times to the judges, like one after the other. They just kept coming around. Um, so the rest of the trip, I'm not going to take you through it. There is one more thing. Rangers died. Yes, come on. <clears throat> also, there was another fire in the tunnel. Yeah. I don't often catch the train, but when I do, it catches on fire. Okay, here we go. Soapbox is uploading. Um, I'll record this demo later. Okay, watch this. At the end of last year, I decided that I wanted to do 1,000 commits to GitHub, and I made it to 1,055. This year, I'm doing 10,000. Next year, 100,000. Um, then a million, Sword. and then, yeah, okay. Anyway, this is what I want to show you. Now, watch this. Just watch. This is so good. Okay, I'm going to create a new repository. We're going to call it testing, right? Um, make it public and initialize it with a readme file. I'm going to create a repository. Clone or download. Let's just copy that. 
go to my terminal, and then I'm going to go git clone. Okay, cloning into testing. Now I cd into testing. I'm going to do an npm init. It's going to accept all of the defaults. That's okay, yes. Now I'm going to nano up the uh, index.js. Okay, and here I'm going to go module.exports equals, and I'm going to export an array of strings. Okay, give me some strings. What am I going to put in here? Yeah, mama. Okay, that's the first one. Where's JS? Your mama. Free beer. Where's JS? Two more. Free beer. Yep. Free pizza. Free Kevin pizza. Yeah, and one more. Kevin Vanderbeeken. Kevin Vanderbeeken. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this way. Right, keep going, you're almost there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you did well. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to save that, and then I'm going to just do git commit, no, git add everything, all the things, and then git commit minus m in it. Yep, and then I'm going to git push that. Then I'm going to do a git remote minus v to get the uh, to get the, the repository location. Um, okay, Control C, Command C that, and let's just do a command V up here. There you go. Okay, here it is on the GitHub's right. Okay, now watch this. We go over to Play Magic Craft. Now I'm going to go um, into Manage Plugins. And then I'm going to drop this little puppy into here, Bink. and I'll change that to testing to represent the name of it. Testing, drop that in, save that. So it's successfully saved. I'm going to go to spells. I'm going to create a new spell, and I'm going to call it with the correct casing, Riz JS. Okay, now I'm going to go const strings equals require testing. And then in here, I'm going to go strings dot for each string, and then we're going to use one of our magic functions, magic dot dixit string. No, that's probably a reserved word, right? Maybe I don't know. Yes. Like that. I'm going to save that. Go to Minecraft. Type cast bris js. So I'm going to connect to um, the Magic Craft Open Server for Australia. <laughs> um, save, save the spell. Yeah, it's working. Um, and then check this out. Okay, escape. I'm going to make this bigger. It's more than a match for what's about to happen here. Okay, you are about to witness for the very first time in human history npm install being run inside Minecraft. Really? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, watch this. Okay, cast. Riz JS. Oh, oh my, my God. God! There it is. <laughs> Children around the world can now run JavaScript in Minecraft straight out of GitHub, just the way that God intended it to be. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Josh Wolf. This is Magicraft. <laughs>